I don't know about you guys, but I am a sucker for seasonal change. I don't know why, but I feel like each season has like their own personality. They have their own aura to them. So I thought it would be fun if we make each season into a sim. And possibly if you guys really do like this video, then maybe I will make like a house for each of them that represents their season. I know I've already done a spin the wheel challenge where each room was a different season, but it would be a little different because it will be like the whole house that's the season and not just a room. So yeah, potentially if you guys really do enjoy this video, I will do like tiny homes for each of the girls. Oh, and also there's gonna be CC links. <laughs> Yes, CC links. I know it's been a while since I've linked to my CC in a video. So I got you guys today. The links will be probably in the comment section instead of the description because I don't think they're going to be enough characters in the description. So yeah, check the comment section for the links if you'd like to download any of these girls, which my origin ID will be in the description. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started with spring season. So here's her. Um, I've already like done like the base of all of them, but I might change around as we go. So we're gonna start off with eyebrows. If I'm being honest, when I think of spring, a lot of people think of cottage core, which yes, that is very spring. I might like add a little bit of that into her style. But when I think of spring, I definitely think of like pastel colors, pinks, blues, purples. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that. A lot of flowers, a lot of flowers, and maybe like knit wear like crochet like jumpers and stuff and also spring can like rain a lot so maybe for her winter outfit we'll do like a raincoat or something now in terms of skin details ah, a lot of these suit her really nicely so i think maybe one that makes her look like really awake you know what i'm gonna go with this one and then i'm gonna give her some eyelashes you know, let me get rid of her EA eyelashes quickly because they are really annoying me. And then we can give her some alpha eyelashes. Okay, should we do makeup or should we go on to hair next? You know what, I might do makeup and I actually downloaded this eyeliner, which look how cool that is. Doesn't that just scream spring? Possibly like a yellow a yellow like white oh my gosh that is so pretty okay i'm leaning towards yellow let's like do some eyeshadow oh this one's really pretty and it's got like the sparkles to it i might do oh i could do green but that's gonna be kind of weird with her eyes maybe like an orange oh you know what let's go let's just go pink pink and yellow i really want like a nice pink blush and then lips um we'll just go with pink like a very pink theme should we do lip gloss lip gloss looks really nice on her is lip gloss like better or should we do like a matte lip or maybe like a little bit of a chapped lip i don't know i've got too many options okay we'll go with this for now um is there anything from the face paint category that i want to use not really okay let's move on to hair you know what i might change the color of the um the eyeliner i might change it to white because i think I think it brings out her eyes and the makeup a lot more. Okay, I changed it to white. I might like go back and forth with it. We'll see. And now hair. I'm not sure if I want to give her like long or short hair. I feel like spring is very carefree. Their hair kind of like blows in the wind. So possibly something along those lines. You know what? I really like this hair. Like I really like this hair a lot. The pink, you know what? The pink looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. It covers a lot of the eyeliner, which I'm not a fan of, but it looks like her hair's like blowing in the wind a little bit, like her fringe area. Okay, Um, I might come back to like hair accessories once we've done her outfit, which we can move on to right now. So I said like pastel, is it pastel or pastel? I don't know but yeah like light colored clothes we can dip our toes into like the cottage core scene but I feel like that's just so typical and flowers we can't forget flowers okay if this doesn't scream spring then I don't know what does or we could go with a dress like a full body outfit I have a lot of spring-esque ones like look how cute that is and there's so many like flower swatches. Okay, I think green and pink are her vibe. Oh, I love that shade of green. Or oh, we could do this dress. This dress is gorgeous. You know what? I'm, I'm leaning towards this dress, but the much lighter colors. I kind of want like a green staple color to bring out her eyes. There is a longer version, which has a few more like 
flower swatches. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this one for every day. And in terms of shoes, these are pretty good. I definitely like have to give you some nails. Pink nails for sure. Maybe like a necklace actually would look nice. I would give you earrings, but you wouldn't be able to see it. So butterfly necklace, 100%. And uh, do we need like any hat accessories? There's this flower that doesn't really make any sense. If we were gonna go all out, I could give her like this like head crown thingy, which looks really cool. You know what? I might give that to her in her formal outfit. Okay, we're gonna leave every day like this. Moving on to formal, all her makeup just disappeared. I'm gonna add the headpiece first so I don't forget because I think it like looks really good on her and it suits the spring vibe that we're going for. Then her outfit. This, like technically this would be perfect, but it's a wedding dress. That is really nice also. Like very, very nice option. It's got a lot of cool like swatches to it as well. This with like the sleeves, it's giving me spring. There's the Cinderella dress. I think this one's the best because of like the two shades. Can't forget the nails. I don't know why there isn't an option to have it on all outfits. And shoes, even though you can't see them, I'm just gonna put anything on her. Oh no, let's give her these. Yeah, okay. So formal outfit done. Athletic wear doesn't have to be anything special. A top and maybe some bicycle shorts. Or would she wear like leggings? You know what? I'm gonna give her some in-game leggings and just some like basic in-game shoes. Sleep wear, um, that's good enough for me. Party wear. Now we've got to put on your makeup again. And then I think we should actually, should we just do a full body? You know what? No, let's stunt on them with like a nice top um, with some nice all clouds. That's a good shout. Got some more flowers. Got even more flowers. I really want to do like a purple one this time. This top's actually really cute. Okay, let's try with you. Let's see what like pants we can get. She hasn't worn any trousers yet. So I think that could be nice. Why is she so cute? <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm trying to accessorize with the purple because there isn't much like being shown from her top. So I gave her like purple nails and purple shoes. It kind of brings it out. I kind of wish I had like a bag that she could wear, but there's no point her wearing it because she's not going to use it at all. Okay, she's looking pretty good. Now swimwear. I've got like quite a few swimsuits that I can just like put on her. This is like the most spring, I think. Yeah, this one's definitely giving me the most spring energy. Oh wait, no, let's do something like this. Okay, yeah, I really like that. And then hot weather outfit. I've got so many options in full body. I think we didn't use this one for her everyday outfit or this one. So you know what, I'm gonna do that one because I really like it. I really like the original swatch as well. Some cute heels, you know, we can do the chunky ones in white. Some nails, there we go. And maybe like a hat, like a summer hat or something. That is not a summer hat. Yeah, this one from Seasons looks really good. Actually, no, this swatch looks a lot better. Okay, cool. And now for her last category, which is cold weather. You know what, I might just copy and paste her makeup from um, the everyday everyday outfit onto all her other outfits using MC Command Center. So I'm not gonna worry about her makeup here. It's just the outfit that we need to take care of. So in spring, it rains a lot, depending where you live in the world. But um, mostly spring is known for being like the rainy season. Oh, this is like kind of knitwear. It also doesn't get like too cold. And then we can like layer a, um, a turtleneck underneath like so. <gasps> Oh, I love that. Okay, forget the raincoat. We are going with this. All we need are some like trousers and then we're good. And here is Miss Spring in her prime. She is adorable and I love her so much. Now let's move on to summer. Damn, it took me 40 minutes to do spring. That's insane. Okay, we've got summer. Um, I, Again, I might like change her features as we go along. So in my mind, summer is very athletic. Athletic. Loves to swim, loves to rock climb. I made that one of her um, likes. She enjoys a good barbecue. She's quite like outgoing and energetic, I feel. All right, skin details. What are we going for? What kind of vibe are we thinking? I really like this Rhonda skin. I feel like it, I don't know, something about this skin like brings out her eyes. 
And then um, eyelashes, should we do like these ones, the same ones that I did for spring? They look really nice on summer as well. Um, I'm just gonna add, I don't know, some random skin detail stuff. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing half of the time in cast. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I just put random stuff on people and if I like it, I like it. Oh, let's chisel those cheekbones. Maybe add some like moles on her face. I don't know why, but summer looks like super realistic. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's her skin details, I'm not sure. Okay, moving on to makeup now. I, what is summer makeup? What does that look like? All I know is that summer's like orange, um, yellow. Oh, yellow. How could I forget? The sun? Maybe blue as well. I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt right now. We're just gonna add stuff on and if it looks good, it looks good. Oh wow, that's really like pretty. You know what, summer, we've got lots of festivals and stuff. So maybe we should go like all out there. This is like the Mac like in-game makeup. That is wild. Like look at this. What is that? The top of a pineapple? Like, why is it looking like that? Okay, eyeliner. We could change the color of the eyeliner, to be fair. Do, we could do green, we could do yellow, we could do orange. Probably not purple, because that's not really summer. We could do yellow. That actually looks really nice. Now, lip. I don't know if you could tell, but I am currently obsessed with a good gloss. I don't know why, it just makes your sim look, I don't know, just a bit more polished. It just looks good, like look at that. Oh, that's so pretty, the orange and the yellow. Mm. Moving on to hair, Um, should we give you like colored hair or should we not give you colored hair? Is slick backed like a like a better option because with spring her hair is blowing in the wind it's all up in her face but then summer could be like hmm i'm gonna be the counter to that and like put it up in a high ponytail but i just i just don't know if we like change the color will it make it like better oh my gosh i found it summer hair when it gets too hot you clip it up. Oh, I'm a genius. We can change the color of the clip in the hat section. So we can change it. Oh, I love that like color. We can change the color to lots of different things, but I think this one just goes with the vibe we're going for. And then her eyebrows, should I make them a little bit lighter? Yes. Oh my gosh, she looks so cool. Earrings, should we give her some facial piercings? I didn't give spring any. Maybe Summer can have like an eyebrow piercing or something. All right, I think she looks pretty cool so far. We can actually see the earrings that we give Summer. Okay, she looks so cool. In terms of outfit, because it's gonna be like super hot in Summer, I refuse to give her any long sleeve. Now, outfit wise, I think like super laid back like relax it's summer summer vacation living on a beach kind of energy she can literally leave the house in like a, a bikini top you know i've used this top recently but i just love it like it's such a cool top i wouldn't wear it in real life personally but I think it looks so cool on my sims. Yep, she looks stunning. Maybe some tattoos, you know? I feel like tattoos would look so good on her. Oh, this one has a palm tree on it and it has a mermaid. Okay, yeah, yeah, this one, this one looks good. Moving on to formal wear. Again, I'm just gonna copy and paste her makeup onto every single outfit using MC Command Center. Okay, what is a summer like formal look? Oh, this one looks amazing. And then uh, again, you can't see her shoes. So so we can just put anything on her. Give you some nails and I think we're good. I think athletic wear is pretty important for Summer because in my mind, she's gonna be in it a lot. A nice, comfortable like sports bra with possibly some bicycle shorts. This is her sleepwear. And then for her party outfit, we can really like stun on people and go all out. Oh, this dress is gorgeous. She's like tied up like a little present. You know what, for party wear, we could go like cutesy. We can lean a bit more towards springs kind of vibe, add in some yellow heels and some nails and we should be good. For swimwear, I'm gonna go with something like that for summer and then hot weather outfit. This is one of my favorite dresses I have in my game. It's just so cool. And there's so many different swatches. Oh, the cheetah print. You know what? Let's go for some oranges. They, that looks really cute. I definitely want some sort of glasses, which these are definitely doing the job. They look really good on her. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one. And then last category, winter wear. Now, summer and winter wear obviously doesn't make sense because it's usually really hot in summer. You're not gonna need a puffer jacket 
in the middle of summer, you know? But it does rain in summer sometimes. There's a lot of thunderstorms, especially in The Sims 4. There are a lot of thunderstorms in summer, so I guess we're dressing her for that. Okay, you know what? That's pretty good. Okay, summer season is done. Moving on to autumn. Now, I really want to go towards like light and dark academia, that kind of vibe. I feel like autumn, this is The Sim, by the way, not like the season, but autumn the sim is really into like paranormal supernatural stuff really into a cult like if harry potter was in the sims she would be like a harry potter fanatic personally i've never seen harry potter so i don't even know really what it's about i just know there's wizards and lots of people watch it in october but yeah she is definitely into her like supernatural and when it comes to autumn it's all about like reading a good book by the fireplace and visiting a pumpkin patch and stuff that that kind of vibe so i'm gonna try and replicate it through her key colors are mostly like orange brown um gray a little bit green there's a lot of green you know what autumn the makeup's actually quite dark like there's a lot of browns and oranges in terms of makeup sometimes smoky eyes so i could technically give her a smoky eye or like some harsher eyeliner maybe actually it looks really good on her we might actually go for a matte because i don't know you, i feel like people wear more matte in autumn right oop i lied i ended up finding a brown gloss so <laughs> Ah, we're going with a gloss. Now, I really want Autumn to wear a beret. I really want Autumn to wear a beret. And I need to, like, give her a hair that is compatible with the beret. So you know what? We're going to put the beret on first. Just any old beret. This one might not be the final one. But I'm just going to put it on. And I want to see what hairs are compatible. See, like, this one would have been so nice. But it's, like glitching out at the top so i am not sure and these ones just stick up out the top this hair would have been so nice if the ponytail didn't like <laughs> do that okay i've realized the gloss is messing with like her upper lip area so i'm gonna have to change out the gloss i know i really wanted the gloss too but what can you do sometimes cc doesn't work out the way you want it to actually you know what i'm gonna get rid of the hat yes getting rid of the hat even though i spent so long trying to find a hair for it and i'm gonna get her to wear some like like crystals or something as earrings really like reinforce that supernatural vibe that i kind of want her to have okay let's move on to her outfit um occult vibes it was either like going down the supernatural route or the dark academia route and right now i'm feeling like the witch core i'm feeling it if we're gonna go witch core i might change her hair since we're not gonna be wearing a hat maybe something like this this is such a pretty hair okay i'm gonna try this out and i really like this coat i think if we're gonna go for a long skirt we should go for a shorter coat it kind of like glitches out here but the the coat looks so cool okay you know what we might have to use this coat and then change out the skirt even though the skirt looks so good i think the most important thing with this like cast is it a challenge yes it's kind of a challenge is whether you can tell which like season each of the girls are I hope you can. I hope I didn't make them too similar. In another world, this girl would definitely be a spellcaster, but I'm trying not to like make them a cult. Yeah, in another world, she's a spellcaster, but in this like sim reality, she's just obsessed with like witches and like magic. Oh no, this necklace is perfect. It just like completed the look. I would really love to give her a witch hat, but should i that no let me not let me not <laughs> okay moving on to her formal outfit we could really do something like this like it's quite short and then like wear tights so it would end up looking like that and then she could probably wear yeah she could wear like the knee-high boots if i can find them athletic wear i'm thinking simple like zip up because it's going to be quite cold it's autumn and definitely some jogging bottoms but what ones the green looks good okay you know what i'm gonna change the color of the top to black yeah that looks that looks good same shoes as everyone else sleepwear we're going full pajamas very cute or should we do like similar to summer and do some patterns or maybe they have some witchy ones oh look at the donut on the bed we've got like dogs we've got plaids we've got little ducks okay you know what let's go with the bears and the donuts and then party wear maybe this time we can go for a dress 
Okay, I decided not to go with the full body outfit and instead do two separate pieces. This top is so cool. I love the shade of blue. I think that's sick. Okay, I know her party wear is a little out there, but I think it looks kind of cute kind of i might change the color of things just to make it look a bit more autonomous like the earmuffs i think the earmuffs are a pretty cool touch and the leg warmers huh huh they're kind of cool okay i like this like orange and green combo going on i can't find the right shade of green for the leg warmers but this one's gonna have to do okay on to swimwear let's just give you this and then hot weather wear i really like this dress on her i think for shoes um maybe not not trainers actually just some flats could be cool yeah that looks pretty decent on to hot weather wear um i yeah autumn autumn it rains a lot again turtleneck and blazers definitely give me autumn turtleneck and trench coat if this doesn't like scream autumn i don't know what does i feel like she would be like a teacher of some sort she's really into her books maybe an english teacher she looks amazing just don't talk about the back. <laughs> but yeah, here is autumn and let's move on to winter. So winter, I'm thinking, I don't know why, but I imagine the Sim being really good at baking, like baking cookies, gingerbread like men i know like since winter is like associated with snowy escape in the game i kind of wanted to drift away from that perspective like the whole extreme sports like enthusiast i didn't want winter to represent that i kind of wanted her to be like even though she's winter i wanted her to be not an ice queen like not like super cold but a little more like she knits by the fireplace kind of vibes she's really into winterfest and loves baking pies for her her neighbor and stuff that kind of like energy so i'm gonna try and give her more of a softer appearance because i know winter people associate it with like again people being cold and like not as nice but i really want her to be super friendly and sweet and literally she bakes like pies and cookies for everyone that she meets <laughs> okay makeup should we give her blue makeup is that too much that that sounds like a lot like kind of over the top but look how cool it looks on her okay we have to do that like that like kind of like frost over her eyes i have like these like white eyelash thingies i don't know if it will look good on her i mean we could try oh that looks kind of cool it's like um snowflake like on her eyelashes and then you can like have white eyelashes if you want but should we go that far i don't think we need to go that far so we could give her like snowflakes on her eyelashes which looks really cool give her some white liner and then i really want her nose to be red like you know in winter when it gets really cold and your nose ends up going really red i want that kind of effect on her yeah i think that looks good and now for lips should we do gloss again like we've done gloss for everyone should we just make it a thing possibly a nude you know i feel like a nude would look best okay cool winter looks pretty sick so far now for hair what's winter hair what what does that mean should we give her white hair that could be kind of cool like she does look really cool with white hair but is it too much okay white can look kind of cool it's more of a silver than a white to be fair i was thinking maybe blue blue looks kind of cool too it really goes well with her makeup i might change it but for now i'm gonna keep it like bluish snowflake-esque kind of color okay in terms of your everyday outfit you know since she is winter she's going to be wearing a lot more long sleeve type of like fits stuff that will keep her warm because i'm guessing she's going to like live in a snowy climate i don't know about you guys but this just screams winter like either this or this i feel like the blue's a bit much with her makeup and her hair so I think if we do like the blue undershirt and then the black dress, that looks a lot better. But she looks so adorable. I, I can't. She looks so cute. White tights and then these shoes. Yeah, she she's adorable. Okay, formal outfit. Um, I think we go more Disney princess. I don't know why that's what comes to mind when I think of her. We don't have to go full Cinderella, but let's go along these lines. And then shoes don't really matter because you literally can't see them. Athletic 
thick wear. I want like a full zip up because it's gonna be freezing. And then some shoes. Like every everyone's getting the same pair of shoes if you haven't noticed. Sleep wear. Um, I feel like this cottage core outfit suits her the best. And then party wear. That looks good. Um, swim wear. Um, I don't know. Should we wear something that's more covered up since she's winter? Or should we like show like all our skin? She's probably like barely gonna use it. So maybe, maybe this like cover up from seasons will do the trick. Hot outfit, we can definitely like create the outfit and not just use a, um, a already made full body one. So I'm thinking something like this. I feel like we've used a lot of blue. I wanna introduce another color. Should it, should it be red? Or maybe a darker blue. Oh, I really like this skirt on her. I think it looks really good. Forget the last outfit. I found winter's hot weather outfit. It is a mini skirt, but we've got a long sleeve top and then for shoes um we can just do something very very simple use the same socks i used before and then winter wear this is where you can shine i kind of don't want her to dress like traditional cold weather i kind of want her to be someone who who enjoys being in the cold so doesn't have to wear heavy jackets or like trousers and stuff i kind of want to put her in like a dress <gasps> Oh, this dress is so cute. It does have layers, but I think it looks, oh, what about this? <gasps> yeah, let's use this. This looks really nice. And then we can change the dress part, I think. Yeah, we can. Let's do these dots. And then for shoes, why do I kind of want her to wear like flip flops <laughs> or like sandals or something in the snow? That's kind of angelic in my eyes. I might have to do it. She's going to wear flip flops. <laughs> and here are all the girls. We've got spring. We've got summer. We've got autumn and then we've got winter. I hope you guys can like differentiate like each season and I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new. Remember these girls will be on the gallery or the CC is in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.